Uh, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at Drop It To Me, which you can find at dropit2.me. It's a free tool that connects with your Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive account, and it allows you to collect files from people without them having access to a shared folder in your account. So let's take a look at how it works. I'm going to go ahead and log into my account up here. And the first thing you'll notice here is you have your basic profile information. But the important part is the connections tab over here on the left hand side. Now I'm going to add a connection to one of my cloud storage accounts. In my case here, I'll use Google Drive. I'll select connect. It'll ask me which Google Drive account I want to use. I'll allow it access and now it's created a connection for me. Now on this next tab down, we'll look at pages. We're going to create a page that will direct people to so that they can upload a file and have it go into my Google Drive account. So we're going to use my Google Drive. We're going to create a page here. I might call it drop it to me slash stuff for Richard. And you can set a password here. Maybe we'll do something like wicked hard password. And let's create that page. Okay. Now let's go ahead and view that page and see how it works. So if someone wants to submit a file to me, they'll go in here, they'll put in the password for this page. And now they can upload their files. So let's say I just want to upload a picture. We'll upload that picture. And we have a little check mark there to indicate that it's done. Now, back in my Google Drive account, let's take a look and see what happened. So you can see here that at the top of my Google Drive, I now have a folder called Drop It To Me. And inside there's a subfolder called Stuff For Richard. And inside is that file that was submitted. And there's the file. So that's Drop It To Me. Again, you can find it at dropit2.me. And it's a great way to collect files from students and colleagues. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.